everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today I've got another extension onto the Skype AFK bot. And what I'm going to do is show you how to send little flashing icons into the taskbar, um, and so the user of the computer can be alerted if a specific message triggers it. Um, particularly, it is good for, let's say, a business owner or some person that likes to sell services on Skype. Let's say you can set the the triggers. Let's say you only want to check for the word buy, the word sell, or the word money or something like that. And one, every time that message is received, you'll be alerted on the bottom of your taskbar. So it's pretty good for that kind of thing. And if you like being on Do Not Disturb like I do, and I'm sort of only interested, I do help a lot of people on Skype, but a lot of the time it's spam. So I do actually use this sometimes. It's pretty neat. So. What we're going to do is use a list box again to contain all our triggers. Uh, except I want to just edit those items for a few keywords. So let's say I'll have buy, sell, and I'll have money. They're three things that I would be interested in if I were to sell a service or something like that. Again, this is I'm just keeping the idea for like a service, but this could be used for anything that you would want to be uh, like would want to be triggered and alerted for so we'll enable that to enable keywords or we'll rename that sorry uh, enable keywords and then that is number five and this is number four so we want to go into our code and we want to look for the upper checkbox and we come outside of that we just want to say checkbox for dot checked is equal to true then what we want to do is similar to last time actually we want to get the incoming message of the body and split it into like different all the words and we want to check each individual word um, so just like last time we can even copy it to save us time actually um, like that because it's doing exactly the same thing and then uh, we can even copy the for each part like so And what we want to do this time is, uh, we're not checking list box 3, we're checking list box 5. So, sort of the same, but just for list box 5. So, uh, if list box 5.items.contains the word, then what we want to do is uh, send them the little flash. Now, to do that, I've actually got the code in the notepad because I didn't create it. It's like an official sort of class that I found on the Microsoft website. And again, this will this will be in the description for you to uh, download. So this is just a class which enables you to send uh, like the little flashes to your taskbar and icons. Uh, so it's pretty useful. I like using this a lot. Um, so you'd copy the class and you want to come outside of the main form one class and just paste it in like that. You don't have to do anything it'll just be fine but you see we got some functions in here that we want to use like the flash the window this is the one we want to use and uh, yeah that will create our stuff so wherever we want to trigger it which will be right here if if we got a match of the word then we want to call make a call to the window API class and then we want to use the flash window function and it's got a few uh, variables Let's just have a look. We got the handle. Uh, let's go ahead. It needs the current process, so it knows which process to like flash. And we can just use process dot get current process to get that to get the uh, current program. So process dot get current process, and then we want dot main window handle. And then what we've got is flash title bar, and that's if you want it to flash. Um, the title and obviously we can just say true because we want that to happen but you could also say files if you didn't want to and then we got flash the tray down the bottom which we do want again put that as false and then we've got the flash count and that is how many times you want it to flash and I'll show you what I mean by that and I'll just set that to 5 for now so that would be it pretty much that would that would check all the incoming messages and check every word in the message to see if it contains one and it will alert you by flashing and again if you watched the previous video 
I told you that I couldn't test it because of the other device so again I'm going to have to stimulate what would happen using a button uh, so I'll go into the button and all we want to do is take uh, this bit of code here the call to the window API and put that right in there like that so if I launch that up I can quickly show oh, what's the error now the so what have we done wrong we've missed an end if somewhere so that we should be good so now if we load that up if I press the button you see down the bottom now this is what I mean by the icon flashing and you see now it stopped flashing because we only made it flash five times which is that number there and if I press it again you'll see one two three four and five and it stops and that's what I mean by the flashes so you could have that number five to whatever color you wanted um, also you could if you got a good imagination you can make this program play sounds or you could make it focus to the top so it uh, just pops up in the user's face the possibilities are sort of endless and as long as you're creative enough you can create some pretty cool programs out of this uh, Skype bot that I showed you how to make so what this will do let's say we enable it every message that comes through it's going to split the message into words and check if the word if the message contained any of these words and if it does it's going to alert the user of the computer and then obviously if they have been alerted they know that they've got some business on the line so they'll go to check Skype so that's the whole purpose of this and the idea behind it uh, so I hope you did enjoy the video if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment and don't don't forget to leave me suggestions on what you want to see next time um, I'm possibly going to show you how to create a create and remove the ads from Skype itself and then I'm going to show you how to do that in program form as well so you can add that into your program you like your Skype doing stuff so that'll be next uh, I'm guessing um, but yeah don't forget to leave me your suggestions as I'm really stuck for ideas at the minute so hopefully you did enjoy the video if you did please feel to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time